Circus Circus's Adventure Dome had a special holiday party Saturday. It was St. Jude's Ranch for Children's annual gift of giving, bringing together siblings who are separated in foster care. When brothers or sisters are separated, you know, it's tough for them. They're already experiencing, uh, you know, abuse and neglect. They're living in foster care. And for lots of reasons, they get separated. And so we're so grateful to be able to provide this sibling preservation program. 60 kids getting an early present from Santa. They won't likely wake up on Christmas morning to spend time together. And so our goal is to help them create new positive childhood memories for this holiday season. We go to this event every single year. We always look forward to it to get to see each other and spend some time, get to pick out presents for each other. It's always very fun for us and we always look forward to it. For these five siblings, being together all at once is a luxury. We all were still in our cars and we all just like hopped out because we were looking for who to sign in with and we all just ran up to each other and hugged each other. They live in three separate homes. Zabra, London and Midnight are adopted and live together. Henry is also adopted separately and Jasmine has been in foster care for eight years. Earlier, it's very rare that we all see each other and it's just nice to actually see them all. For them, every moment together counts. So Saturday, like dozens of other brothers and sisters, they laughed, they played, and they enjoyed all the rides. I'm really grateful for this experience to celebrate this with my family. And I think it would be really hard if we were like all separated a little too far to make this happen. But I'm really glad that St. Jude did this for us. In Las Vegas, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. Also new at six, we have a local woman teaming up with the Las Vegas Rescue Mission who each and every year steps up to bring lots of smiles to little faces. Oh, what a treat it was today. It's called Pearly Claws Toy Giveaway. People donated toys at Optic Gallery locations throughout the Valley for the first 12 days of December, 12 days of Christmas, get it? All toys were donated to local families at Cashman Field today with help from the Rescue Mission volunteers and, of course, Pearly Claws herself. It's a, it's a passion of mine. Ten years in the making for Pearly Claws. Um, it's, it says it all. The magic of Christmas is about giving back, and I feel like this is why we do what we do, to see these families and give back to our community. Well, she's also known as Perla Gum. <laughs> she is such a sweetheart, truly an angel, and has taken this on as a labor of love. The goal was 5,000 toys this year, and they've been able to raise thousands of toys to help Valley families over the last decade, 10 years that they've had this toy drive. Toy drive, that is. What a milestone. Police out making house calls today. More than a dozen families getting special visits from the men and women in uniform, and these officers come with a delivery truck. Here's Denise Brosh. Andrea Robertson wasn't home when the elves arrived. Like, I didn't ask for any of this. It's just very kind to be gifted these pieces of furniture. The school librarian at work as a brand new sectional was delivered to her Southeast Las Vegas home Friday afternoon. Metro police officers and Santa himself selecting Robertson for the department's furniture giveaway. After finding out, Robertson recently became a foster mom to three children from her school. Talked to my principal and then I called um, Child Haven and I took the three girls, three sisters. But officers were just getting started. Next stop, the home of Tiffany Millinder. <gasps> it's just, it's very overwhelming. The single mom working full time while finishing her degree says the family had nothing to sit on in the living room until now. I'm doing everything that I possibly can like to make a way for my kids and to break generational curses and such and you know it just feels good to have like a break. The families were among more than a dozen identified by each area command. Police officers who came to learn of their stories and wanted to help. I wear many hats but this is a uh, Probably one of the funner things I get to do with Metro, and it's very fulfilling, especially during the holidays. The furniture was donated by World Vision and City Serve to Hope for Prisoners for that nonprofit's annual holiday event. Then, when the party was over, Hope for Prisoners gave it to Metro and asked the department to identify families in need. Here we're able to kind of show up and do a little bit of community engagement and it's just a really great opportunity to show the kids in the neighborhood, hey, the cops are doing more than just enforcing laws. Just ask Melinder's children. I'm like really, really happy right now because like 
they're just amazing for doing this. Watching the delivery from the garage, even receiving stuffed animals from Metro. The Christmas they'll always remember as the one when the police brought them presents. This is actually a really nice thing for people to do. Well, an A's move here would be a home run, according to market research the team is sharing with us today. It's a story that we've been following since last spring when Major League Baseball gave the A's permission to start looking for a new home. The team says their options right now are either Oakland or Las Vegas. And our Jeff Gillen joins us with the latest. Jeff, you followed this from the beginning, my friend. Yes, I have. Uh, Reed, good evening. Las Vegas, good to see you. The market study says the A's would be welcomed here by both locals and tourists. The A's commissioned this study to see what kind of reception they'd get if they leave the Bay to become the Las Vegas A's. According to the sports advisory firm CSL, locals, tourists, and baseball fans from out of town showed significant interest in Major League Baseball in Las Vegas. Dave Cavill is the A's president. Well, it's very positive, not only for tourists uh, being attracted to Major League Baseball games in um, Las Vegas, but the local market, the strength of that local market is really tremendous. The market research firm polled more than 17,000 people, locals, A's fans, baseball fans, and tourists. Of the locals, Cavill tells me research said 87% polled would buy season tickets, 85% would buy single game tickets. That's important, Cavill told me, in a sport with 81 home games a year. You really need to see that demand in order to sustain the level of fan interest over a long season. The research is also guiding the team on where a Las Vegas stadium would go. Would it make more sense to build near the resort corridor, or would there be enough local support for something in the suburbs? Well, one of the key takeaways was that the site doesn't matter quite as much as we thought. Cavill says there was support for both a resort quarter location and a site in the suburbs. The news broke recently. The A's made an offer on the site of the Tropicana at Trop and the Strip. Well, we made an offer on a couple different sites. And so, um, you know, that is the site that we're looking at. We made several offers on different sites. The team is working two tracks with two cities. While it's kicking our tires, it's also trying to do a deal with Oakland, its home for more than 50 years. Friday, the city of Oakland released a final environmental report on the A's proposed $12 billion waterfront development. Cavill says it's another step. The crucial step, he says, would be a binding vote. But the city said Friday that may be a few months away. We were hoping for a more definitive timeline, you know, with actual like, hey, we could have a vote on whatever. Cavill says negotiations continue in Oakland. He tells me the team should be able to announce a stadium location here soon, possibly in about a month. Hi, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan from News 3 Las Vegas. We want to thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Remember, you can always see more of our videos by clicking on the video links. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our YouTube updates. Thanks for watching.